Welcome to Dinopedia, your dinosaur's channel. What is its name? The name of this animal is Achelosaurus. The word Achelosaurus means Achelous lizard. What is its size? It was about 6 meters long, and weighed around 3 tons. Achelosaurus was a medium-sized ceratopsian. What did it look like? It was a quadrupedal herbivore with a parrot-like beak, a rough boss raised bony area, on the snout and two more behind the eyes, and two horns on the end of its long bony neck frill. With a total body length of 6 meters 20 feet. As a ceratopsian, it walked on all fours, had a short tail and a large head with a hooked beak. It had a bony neck frill at the rear of the skull, which sported a pair of long spikes, which curved towards the outside. Adult Achelosaurus had rough bosses, roundish protuberances, above the eyes and on the snout where other centrosaurines often had horns in the same positions. These bosses were covered by a thick layer of keratin, but their exact shape in life is uncertain. Some researchers hypothesize that the bosses were used in fights, with the animals butting each other's heads, as well as for display. The skull of an adult individual, holotype specimen more 485, was estimated to have been 1.62 meters, 5.3 feet long. This puts it in the same size range as other members of the Centrosaurinae subgroup of Ceratopsians that lived during the Campanian age. It was about as large as its close relative Ineosaurus, but with a much heavier build. Achelosaurus approached the robustness of one of the largest and most heavily built horned dinosaurs known, Triceratops. As a ceratopsid, Achelosaurus would have been a quadrupedal animal with hoofed digits and a shortened, downward swept tail. Its very large head, which would have rested on a straight neck, had a hooked upper beak, very large nasal openings, and long tooth rows developed into dental batteries that contained hundreds of oppressed and stacked individual teeth. In the tooth sockets, New teeth grew under the old ones, each position housing a column of teeth posed on top of each other. Achelosaurus had 25 to 28 such tooth positions in each maxilla upper jaw bone. Like that of all other ceratopsids, the skull of Achelosaurus had a peridosquamosal frill or neck shield, which was formed by the parietal bones at the rear and the squamosal bones at the sides. The parietal is one of the main bones used to distinguish centrosaurine taxa from each other and resolve relationships between them, whereas the squamosal is very similar across taxa. In Achelosaurus, the squamosal bone was much shorter than the parietal. What did it eat? This animal fed on plants. Where did it live? This animal lived in Montana, United States. Achelosaurus is known from the U.S. state of Montana, in the Two Medicine Formation, which preserves sediments dated from the Campanian stage of the late Cretaceous period, between 83 and 74 million years ago. Achelosaurus was found in the highest levels of the formation, so it is probably closer to the end of that time frame, 74 million years ago. Other dinosaurs found in this formation include Displetosaurus, Bambiraptor, Euplocephalus, Maeosaura, and Ineosaurus. Contemporary dinosaur species included Prosaurolophus blackfeetensis, Scolosaurus cutleri, Hypacrosaurus stevingeri, Ineosaurus procurbicornis, and Tyrannosaurids of uncertain classification. Achelosaurus is known from the two medicine formation and lived in the island continent of Laramidia. When did it live? Aquelosaurus was a species of herbivorous and quadrupedal dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, between 83 to 70 million years ago. Aquelusaurus is a genus of centrosaurine ceratopsid dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period of what is now North America 74 million years ago. It was a quadrupedal herbivore with a parrot-like beak, a rough boss raised bony area, on the snout and two more behind the eyes, and two horns on the end of its long bony neck frill. With a total body length of 6 meters 20 feet. How did it behave? Achelosaurus was herbivorous and spent their lives eating plants, and eventually fighting. As a ceratopsian, Achelosaurus would have been a herbivore and it appears to have had a high metabolic rate, though lower than that of modern mammals and birds. In 1995, Sampson noted that earlier studies had found that the horns and frills of ceratopsians most likely had a function in intraspecific display in combat, and that these features would therefore have resulted from sexual selection for successful mating. Likewise, 
In 1997 Horner concluded that such ornamentation was used by males to establish dominance and that females would have preferred well-equipped males as their offspring would then inherit these traits, conferring a reproduction benefit. The bosses would have evolved for actual combat, part of a social selection in which individuals competed for scarce resources such as mates, food and breeding grounds. It has been claimed that ceratopsian dinosaurs were herding animals, due to the large number of known bone beds containing multiple members of the same ceratopsian species. In 2010, Hunt and Fark pointed out that this was mainly true for centrosaurine ceratopsians. Horner assumed that the horned dinosaurs at Landslide Butte lived in herds which had been killed by drought or disease. Dodson concluded that the fact that the Achelosaurus bone beds were monospecific, containing only one species, confirmed the existence of herds. About the metabolism. There has long been debate about the thermoregulation of dinosaurs, centered around whether they were ectotherms, cold-blooded, or endotherms, warm-blooded. Mammals and birds are homothermic endotherms, which generate their own body heat and have a high metabolism, whereas reptiles are heterothermic ectotherms, which receive most of their body heat from their surroundings. How was it discovered? The genus and the one named species, Achelosaurus horneri, were both named by paleontologist Scott Sampson in 1994. The specific name honors Jack Horner, an influential American paleontologist famous for his Montana dinosaur discoveries, who in 1987 headed the team that excavated the holotype skull of Achelosaurus, more 485. The first fossils of Achelosaurus were collected in Montana in 1987, by a team led by Jack Horner, with more finds made in 1989. In 1994, Achelosaurus horneri was described and named by Scott D. Sampson. The genus is known from a few specimens consisting mainly of skull material from individuals, ranging from juveniles to adults. All known Achelosaurus specimens were recovered from the Two Medicine Formation in Glacier County, Montana during excavations conducted by the Museum of the Rockies, which still houses the specimens. Additional information. Achelosaurus is a genus of centrosaurine ceratopsid dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period of what is now North America 74 million years ago. The genus and the one named species, Achelosaurus horneri, were both named by paleontologist Scott Sampson in 1995. The specific name honors Jack Horner, an influential American paleontologist famous for his Montana dinosaur discoveries. The generic name Achelosaurus is a complex reference to Greek mythology. Achelos, an important Greek river deity, had one of his horns torn off by Hercules, in a mythological fight with the legendary hero. All three known skulls of Achelosaurus have rough bosses in the same places where other ceratopsians had horns, giving it the appearance of having had its horns ripped off. Achelos was also celebrated for his shape-shifting ability, just as Achelosaurus appears to combine features of other ceratopsian dinosaurs. Scientists have so far recovered three skulls and some postcranial material from the two medicine, all housed at the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana. The skull of a full-grown Achelosaurus, including the frill horns, is over 5 feet, 1.6 meters long. What is not yet known about it? Early reports suggested that Achelosaurus represented a transitional form between ceratopsians with modified horns like Ineosaurus, with which Achelosaurus horneri shares two horns on the end of the frill, and the derived, hornless Pachyrhinosaurus, by Jack Horner, 1992. While they may or may not form a direct line of descent, all three of these genera are at least closely related, and are often united in the tribe Pachyrhinosaurinae, inside the subfamily Centrosaurinae and the family Ceratopsidae. Reptile data. Scientific classification. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Clade. Dinosauria. Order. Ornithischia. Family. Ceratopsidae. Subfamily. Centrosaurinae. Tribe. Pachyrhinosaurinae. Clade. Pachyrostra. Genus. Achelosaurus. By Scott Sampson, 1994. Species. A. Horneri. Binomial name. Achelosaurus horneri. By Scott Sampson, 1994. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.